people love it. But Delta, we've seen him on the Roman's wing. Whoa. Roman Reigns. We've seen the Taros today. How do you think this matchup's gonna go? Uh, I think um, Reigns definitely gonna have to watch out for that power from the Taros. Um, we've seen Axe all day, especially being in the E region. It definitely um, has been very, um, it's been very prominent today yeah. so far. Um, I mean, Rain though, throwing down that down stick, trying to open up the edge guard to begin with, but Delta going right to work with that axe and getting some of that really good early damage in. We know EU does like its axes, and Delta has been a true blue Taros main. I mean, both of them are actually level 100 on their respective legends, so it seems like both of them really just kind of stick to one character. Yeah, absolutely. Or it shows the respect they have for each other by not wanting to go into any of those pocket picks, wanting to stick, all right, I'm a level 100 on this, this is what I know, this is what I'm good at, and going to put their best foot forward here in this opening game of the set. I like that Reigns sticking with nice. the sword right now. That is the more consistent KO tool. And then going to go to a fresher sword uh, as Delta comes in here on his second stock. Nice little neutral light to give him an opportunity to pick up a weapon. And he didn't need it though. Rain going right back in there with that dare. Opened up some more damage. He's doing a really good job. Oh, got caught in that stomp stare. I was going to say, he's doing a really good job of staying out of those, uh, out of those hit boxes. Then got scooped up on that one. Going to go ahead and equalize those stocks. And Rain looking for that weapon drop so he can get back to work here on Delta. Okay, stomp into a neutral air coming out from Delta. Looking to try to play a little bit more vertical mm -hmm. with this hammer against Rain. Not really getting that like range advantage that hammer has over the gauntlets right now. Well, Rain's doing a really good job kind of lacing himself oh, in there. He's crazy. <laughs> he went down for it. It paid off. Coming back up top with that recovery and going to take him over to the left side of Apocalypse and going to go ahead and confirm that stock. And he's got himself a healthy lead coming into this first game. Yeah, and right now I feel like Delta's got to be thinking about what's the adjustment going into game two and game three. Game one, it's going to be hard to come back from because he's basically a full stock behind. But again, we're in best of five, so he's got time to change things up. And he is on that Roman Reigns. He is on that Taros. He can definitely bring that damage deficit back really quick, but he has got to stay out of the way, especially these gauntlets. Going down with that big dare that was a little risky. Yo. Fortunately, didn't get punished for it. Rain, sweet beds, sweet oh, be oh. sweat beads coming out. I love that. I know, it's so it's so satisfying. That guy already canceled D-Light into ground pound. It is such a satisfying move. Takes the stock off. Delta can bring this back. This is actually yeah. pretty close, dude. I know, I was, I was ready to write this one off, but really, just there, Delta doing the double down light. Yeah, it's flashy, but it's also smart. Got him the height so that when that ground pound hit, it went over the corner instead of bouncing off the stage. And now final stocks here, but another oh, neutral sig. Delta that, might be in trouble. That almost got it too, yeah. but Apocalypse with those high ceilings, giving Delta an opportunity to come back down the stage, go back to neutral and try and bring this deficit back. But no, there, ooh, the recovery is going to be just enough at the end of that. And Rain is going to take a game a number one, and they are going straight back in it. No, no waste of time. No swaps. No, going straight back into weapon uh, striking, and we are going back to APOC. I really like that response from Rain in that final moment, that jump, gravity cancel, down light. It goes over the stomp, which Come on, it's a hammer player. Right, That's right. like what they're looking for uh -huh. nine times out of ten. So Rain just putting being right above it and then coming in, downlight recovery for that KO. Really good play for him. Absolutely great awareness of knowing what his opponent's kit is and how to get around that. Gonna get the first weapon drop. Delta looking for his and ooh, gonna start on this hammer, immediately going for that downlight. Immediately looking for that opener, but Rain going to work here on that vertical movement. Coming down, getting underneath that platform. Delta was right there waiting for him. Oh my god, the nair's just coming out one after another. Oh, oh that neutral sig, that would have been absolutely nasty. That probably would have taken the stock, honestly, off of Rain at that angle. It definitely would have been a really strong position for Delta, because of course Rain was coming out of the sky, so he didn't have as much stuff there. But once again, Rain is catching these vertical moves from Delta with these neutral sigs. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what that guard against the delight to grab pound again. Rain coming over on the edge, looking for a good edge guard, but no letting Delta get right back up and stepping back into that side sig, and that is going to be enough momentum to take a Delta out of here off that first stock, and Rain going to work just like he did in the opening game and has that first stock advantage. All right, Delta once again coming in on the second stock. The stomp side air cleans up the stock difference, but Delta, what weapon is he going to stick with? He's kind of juggling between the two. It looks like he wants Hammer to go up against Rain. Getting that quick starve out there, trying to keep Rain off the weapon, and it's still continuing to work. Rain can hardly get back up on stage, and when he does, just taking some more damage off the Hammer. Does have those gauntlets in hand, but taking another stomp to the face. Nice side light. Nice air. Taking him back off stage and getting that momentum. Putting him in a position where he can rack up a extra damage, get that spacing, and a oh, weapon throw might do it. Oh! That was almost a very bad decision <laughs> from Delta, but it worked out. He didn't get hit. He didn't give Rain the chase dodge that would have kept the stock alive. That could have gone bad for a, 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 a couple different ways, yeah. honestly. Rain, though, being really patient Yo, on that edge guard, 
Going over with the side uh, side sig though, and Delta being able to get in there with that hammer, put some more damage on him. Nice dare to get back in position into neutral sig. It's just a nice side light back into neutral. Rain coming over, dare into Ooh. Sare. That was actually oh. really clean, bro. Yeah. That was a very, very good awareness. Great option. Weapon throw going to finish that up. That was a very clean finish from Rain there. That was just such a solid sequence. Hitting that dare, it had just enough bounce for that side air, and then the weapon toss to catch Delta's immediate recovery. And now Rain. Starting to add up some more damage onto Delta. Delta's hammer was looking good for a while, but now that he's on this corner, it's really hard for him to get that game plan that he wants. Those stomp side lights, stomps there. Well, it's almost like Rain's got to figure it out, though. He's being, definitely being able to stay out of that hitbox, keeping that distance that he needs, and being able to get those one-two punches off the gauntlets. We're going to get that recovery on on arm, switching back. Oh, we're going to pick the gauntlets back up. That D-Sig just whiffing. Nice punish coming off of Rain. We go dare. Oh, he <laughs> knew it. He called it, baby. He stood there in the face of that DC. He's like, nah, man, I got my dodge. You're, you're, you're capping, bro. Sent him off the stage. Going to go ahead and take a game number two. And Delta has got to get something figured out, bro. As as a Taros player myself, I feel <laughs> Delta's pain. Every time someone's like, oh, Taros is OP, I'm like, bro, just have reactions. Yeah. You just you see him start the down sig. You spot dodge. And you get such a huge punish with that side sig. And now Delta. He's on the cusp of getting finished out here, Three, finishing with two, a seventh one, place wrong. finish here at the Trial of Ymir. I mean, that is not horrible. But, I mean, you know he wants to do better than that. It's always good to get in the top eight, but he wants to keep climbing. Every spot in this bracket is more money in their pocket, really what it boils down to. Delta going to work on that axe and get some good early damage on Rain here. That Sare is going to send him back out. Ooh, nice. he held it and he got it. He and got that might punch. be enough that Dare's going to finish up. Yes, sir. And for the first time this set, we see Delta not only take a lead, but a pretty good lead. Yeah, this is the healthiest lead Delta has been able to accumulate for himself. And it's with the axe, which is so crazy because, like, the last game was all about the hammer right. for Delta. And we saw how that worked out for him. Yeah. So, I mean, he's got that level 100 terror. Uh -huh. so we see they're not really wanting to, you know, change legends. So, I mean, just change weapons. All right. Nice double dare coming out from Delta. Two piece. There's the dodge, but Delta wasn't ready to react. Hold down the edge here, Rain. We've seen those edge guards. You know, he's looking for that side sig. Good, um, a good patience to not throw it out there. Probably would have been a pretty nasty punish his way. Nice recovery. Get back up there. And there we go. Recovery is going to take Delta all the way up to the sky. He's looking for another one. Whiffs. Delta there to. Uh, catch him unarmed as he lands, a weapon throw out. See a little edge guard of his, oh my goodness, that was a great option for Rain staying out of there. Uh, nice using that side stick for movement to uh, get out of the way of that hitbox, very clean. I really love the, the response from Delta as well. He, he got past it and then went for the turnaround. Sarah just didn't have enough drift to, to completely punish it, but he will get a stomp side air. And now, final stock here for Rain. Delta, get himself on the board, keep himself alive a little bit. Yeah, Delta's got to do it right here, trying to stay in this bracket. Rain obviously does not want this to go to a game number four. Trying to get that 3-0 and get out of this game. Save those hands. Save that uh, save that energy before, uh, to go into the next set. I don't know where he was looking for with yeah. that neutral sig. That's why I kind of just kind of paused. I didn't know where he was going. I was like, <laughs> he just right, closed his eyes and prayed with that one. <laughs> I'm going to let my man cook for a second. But, uh... Nice dare. Ooh, and a stare. I have not seen that. Down light, or sorry, down air and a gravity cancel neutral light off that bounce. Very precise damage values. Absolutely. See an option. Floating off stage, coming back up top with the Sare. Gonna send Rain all the way across the stage, trying to catch that gravity cancel D light. Rain easily staying out of the way of it, but nice, gonna catch him. Ground pound down to the bottom of Apocalypse. And Delta is on his tournament stock, but he has got a good chunky lead. Yeah, I mean, he's Taros, high force legend, but. He's got to hit range. That's the first step towards finishing off this game number three. The neutral line not going to quite do it. Down air. And Delta going to get himself on the board. Good for him. Good for him. You know, you, you never want to see somebody just get <laughs> shut out. That's some, like, mom energy. Just, just like, give a pat on the back. Good job. You tried. <laughs> I mean, but it definitely, once he switched over and, you know, relied on that axe a little bit more, it definitely opened up some more opportunities for him. Um, Rain was definitely having a much harder time at, adapting to the axe and we'll see if rain's able to you know make those same adaptations that he did on hammer or if the axe is going to continue to be a problem Three, for him two, yeah i mean just one, looking at the damage ball. values in that last one put out 555 damage basically 500 of it was the axe right it was basically all about the axe and he's starting off with the hammer here in game number four unfortunate initial weapon spawn for delta yeah absolutely he's gonna be looking for that next drop real quick Although he is racking up some good damage off of it. Just kind of mixing up mixing up his uh, openers here a little bit. Still reaching with that stomp. 
Yeah, that was really interesting there from Delta. He got a stomp and then kind of waited mm. for rain and then went for recovery, but it stopped side air. Clean combos coming out from Delta. Looks like he's found his footing. He's figured out what he needs to do against rain. Yeah, absolutely. And it's surprisingly so far on that hammer. Rain gonna get a sword in hand, put a couple uh, two, three piece in on Delta. And we're seeing just some good neutral gameplay here. These guys just kind of going back and forth, looking for their openers, looking for some good opportunities. Dude. Delta though, bodying them up right there. So we could now find another one. He's being really patient. He's getting really good spacing off of that hammer. And Rain's having a really hard time adapting to it. Yeah, uh, Delta's doing a really good job of like catching Rain as he starts to do something. So yeah. we get that gravity cancel downlight, and it just immediately halts any momentum Rain's trying to build up. Going for a little spice there with that recovery, gravity cancel downlight follow up, but still, one more hit and Rain could be down on his final stock. Absolutely, especially off that terror. We're gonna see what he can do here. Doing a oh, he burned that dodge and caught the sair. Delta cooking through <laughs> this game. My man is still on his first stock. I had to look at the monitor twice, bro. Dude, uh, it took him two games to preheat the oven. <laughs> right? <laughs> he got the phone call from his mom, like, you got to defrost the chicken. And he's like, oh, snap. Hold on. Oh, man. And he is oh, putting huge damage it. in. Do it again. Do it one more time. Oh. Went real low there with that ground pound. Likely will. Oh, okay, oh, good oh. dodge up. Rain might have had an option. He was looking for that dare. Didn't quite catch with it. Delta, though, just set it. Dude, see, he's selling back into neutral. He's being a lot less aggressive off that hammer. Just kind of reading out and really waiting on Rain to make the first move here. Oh. <laughs> okay, punish. Didn't have the recovery in the pocket. That was a downlight into a side air. But there's the downlight recovery coming out from Rain. No three stock here for Delta, but man, Delta really looks like he's in his element now. Yeah, absolutely. I don't, I don't know how Rain can do anything except, all right, we're, we're going to game number five and we got to figure it out because this one is all but done for him and that is going to finish it up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I think Delta passes controller off to somebody. What happened, bro? <laughs> he's like, he got a little brother for a little bit. He's like, he's like, here, like, right, here, here take the sticks, bro, here. <laughs> Uh, definitely building an exciting set for us, though. Um, can't complain. My uh, first set on mainstream, and we're going the distance, man. Yeah. We're going the distance. Full five coming out here, Delta versus Rain. And I love that the, the position that Delta has now put himself in. Yeah. His axe looked game amazing five. in game four, or three, game three. Two, His hammer looked game, uh, amazing in game four. Now Rain's like, well, uh, I guess I got to keep you unarmed. I don't know what else I can do here. Because you know at this point, Rain is shook. Yeah. Like, he came out, got those first two games, was looking really good, and then Delta has just been picking him apart piece by piece through those next two games. Games. And then he now finds himself in this game five situation and now on his own tournament stock and possibly being taken out of today's bracket. I mean, what better map to end one of their tournament runs on than Small World's End? Yeah. Here we go. Fin er, final game here between the two of them. Ooh, Ooh side just low enough. Could not find anything off of it. Delta clapping back with a neutral sig. Can't find anything on it. Oh, nice recovery. Looking for that Nair. Couldn't quite Ooh. get him in his hitbox. Side Sig going to go ahead and pick up. Did not did not pull it off the stage. Let Delta come back up. And nice, nice. Going to go ahead and catch him. Recovery going to go ahead and finish that up at the end. And that is going to give a Rain a pretty good opening stock here. It really feels like this set is coming down to the neutral. Who's able to kind of pull the other one in? And when Delta is forced to go in, in onto Rain, mm. Rain's able to pick him apart a little bit. 1,000%. And that's why Delta had so much luck, you know, those past couple of games, because Rain was being more aggressive. He was falling into that. He was w letting Delta sit back and punish him, react off of him. Oh. Rain has no weapon. You can see Delta <laughs> really trying to push his advantage. He's going to stay right in front of this weapon spawn, and now he'll deny it. Nice yeah. two-piece end sig was a big read attempt, but Rain not able to punish. That would have been it right there off the stock. Oh. Rain, though, getting a ground pound off stage with those gauntlets. Looking for another one. Delta opting to go ahead and float back up on stage instead of chasing. Oh, he, was, he wanted to pull the down sig. You knew it was yeah. coming. Good dodge up there, but couldn't get that down air on oh, the rain. Nice Side air gets him onto the stage. Okay, Rain going to fall. Oh. Still not enough, though. He's got horizontal movement. Burn the dodge, avoiding that weapon throw, and now he's going to have a hard time getting back up on stage. Oh, back at you. Yeah, I've got him that time. He didn't think he was going to go for it twice, yeah. but it was. He's like, there's no way. Oh, Missed with the D-Light. That's going to end the stock. And just like that, Rain is a one a stock away from moving forward on this elimination side. 
Delta, you know he wants to take this down to the final stocks here. One big hit could put Rain onto that final stock. A side light, not going to do it, but the scoop up on that outside edge. And now everybody's final stocks. Who's going to close out this set? All tied up. Game five, final stock. Coming down to this. You can see who's going to do it. And it just comes down, like you said, to this neutral game, Delta. Getting a couple one twos in, racking up, but that's but he can't. Rain cannot get in a position where he is matching blow for blow with Delta. That is not going to end well for him. Yeah, I mean, Terras, we know, is a hard hitting legend, so he will be able to chunk harder, especially with these weapons. Goes for a down sig, and it will connect. Ground pound. Delta got eager there, but he's going to eat the side sig. That's he's going to eat the weapon toss. That's Gets it. the wall touch, but Rain going to close it out. Down like ground pound. <laughs> what a set. Rain, you know, I, I got to give it to him. It, I was a little worried. Things were starting to fall away from him. They were they were slipping through his fingers, and he he got it back together, got in there for game number five, did what he needed to do, and got it done by almost 100 damage deficit.